Humble yourself. Humble yourself. We have all witnessed those that reached the clouds and fell their ass back to earth. Humble yourself. myself while I'm watching a movie or something because it take me long enough to get my nails done and sit there and have them soak me foul me soak me foul me soak me foul me I don't be having the patience so I am on my way oh shit there's some shit going on <clears throat> as long as it ain't behind me um so I had mentioned to my husband I wanted you know to get up this morning go get my nails done if y'all been following me for a while y'all already know chevy got to be the first one chevy got to be the, i ain't got time to be sitting there waiting on everybody in and out in and out because again my nails take a minute because of the length and if i doing all my razzle dazzle takes a minute so i just like to be first and feel like i still have the remainder of my day so anyway i had mentioned to my husband i was going to get up and um go i mean these police busting you turns they doing all the time um, that I want to get up and go do my nails this morning. So when I came home, my 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 little honeydew had um, a gift certificate, uh, a gift certificate laying on the bed for me. I go get your nails done. I got you. Yes, yes, and I will. So on my way there, I'm running a little bit late, girl. They open in seven minutes. I got about four minutes worth of driving, but I won't be first. So I had, I usually have an idea of what I want to do before I show up, but today I have absolutely no idea of what I feel like doing. So when I get there, and um, I think I want stiletto, I think that's the shape. I usually bounce between coffin and stiletto. The way my fingers and stuff are shaped, I'm not into almond and all of that. Back in the day, I used to do like square. I was never into the oval and circle. So I think I'm in the mood for stiletto this go round. And um, if y'all hear blowing, I'm sorry, I just cut the heat up. So, yeah, but I'm not real sure what I want. I, I don't feel like sitting there longer than I have to. So, honestly, I probably won't be doing a lot of razzle and dazzle. I, mean, I just don't feel like it. So, but we'll see. Part of me just kind of wants to do a basic um, French tip. I have not had that in a minute. In a minute. And when I did, all type of stuff was going on with it. But anyway, I will let you all uh, know when I get there. And, um, oh, and then my husband, I had also mentioned, ladies, know what you want and sit still until you get it. You know what I'm saying to you? Don't sit on men, you too. Know what you want and be patient while the universe, God, whatever you believe, whatever you refer to it as, is preparing your order. Like in a restaurant that's fresh, not sitting on the shelf where you just getting whatever's there, whether it's fresh or stale. When you go into a sit-down restaurant or certain restaurants that prepare your meal fresh and you have to place your order and step to the side and wait, the same applies to your relationships. Place your order, step to the side, get out your own way, and let your order be prepared. And they'll call your name when it's ready. Catch it. Let you know when I make it to the nail shop.
So, my, my my sugar lump actually surprised me with a um, Starbucks thermal one. Now, I've had a lot of their regular cups, which I think I've shown you before, but I've never bought one of their um, tumblers, so to speak, the, the insulated ones. So, I got that. But also, I wanted to show you all my nails. I said I wasn't going to razzle and dazzle, and I ended up razzling and dazzling. So, so anyway, that's that. Whenever I sit there, people are like, how do you do anything with those nails? How do you? And then I, I want my nails like her. I want that until sometimes they hear the price, but that'd be okay. Uh, so it's cold out here today. It's 26 degrees. I'm trying to stay out of Starbucks line, but I'm actually a little bit hungry. And I'm, I'm surprise, surprise, I'm craving Mexican. So we shall see. Lord, I feel like I'm gonna give y'all a damn headache with these raggedy streets keep bouncing my camera all over the place. So I'm actually about to head um, as hungry as I am, and it's 11 o'clock. <clears throat> it's not late, late, but I don't tend to necessarily eat this early unless I'm out at a restaurant intentionally, whatever. But I'm about to go home. You know that feeling when you said, when I go out, I need to do something? That's why I'm kind of looking crazy and I'm kind of stumbling over my words because I'm like, it's something I was supposed to be doing when I said I was running to the nail shop. Lord, is old age setting me in already? It's something I'm supposed to be doing and I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. But we all know the minute I walk through my front door, there you go. And I'm one of those people when I'm home, unless I, you know, have plans or something for that. I'm not one of those in and out, in and out people all day. I'm too old for that now. now damn it, what I'm in, I'm in. Y'all got one good activity out of me today. Uh, but I do have some work I need to do. Oh, boy, the sun is out, but it ain't doing nothing. It's cold out here. I'm about to turn my booty on. So, let me go home. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, we'll probably go out for dinner tonight. Um, myself, my husband, and the two girls, as you know, Princess Jada is back at school doing her thing. So, um, yeah, I still cannot remember. I'm still trying to remember what it is I'm supposed to do before I get home, and I can't remember. But anyway, it is what it is. So, I would check back in with you all. Um, probably going to go out to dinner a little bit later on, and I really, really want to dedicate. Um, today to really getting this last little piece of what I want done because I really want to announce it in this uh, vlog and hopefully like I said um, you all will you know feel free to support me and my in my endeavors and my dreams and aspirations and I hope that you all if you have something that you would like the tribe to come and show up and show out for you all and support you your websites your businesses your YouTube pages whatever we're, we're a tribe and like I say in every single vlog we're all about motivation elevation and inspiration around here and that's the only energy the only vibe that we want sitting amongst us so I really 
really want this to develop into a community of support where you can come and drop a question in the comment box and be like, hey, does anybody know anybody that does this? Or can anybody refer someone that does that? I want someone to be able to come in and drop their YouTube channels or drop their, you know, websites or whatever and just ask the people to swing by and support, check it out, give positive, constructive feedback if there's any to be given. You know, I know I have watched, obviously, uh, a lot of influencers and bloggers, and I've actually seen some that were a little bothered when, you know, up and coming, aspiring influencers, you know, would drop their page in their comments, like, hey, you guys, you know, um, I would love the support or whatever. And I've seen some influencers, and this is just my personal opinion, you ain't got to buy into it. You ain't even got to agree with it. It's just me. I've seen some of the influencers was like, you know, um, please don't support, you know, other endeavors on my page. You know, please don't, um, you know, do, I mean, I mean, and, and some of them will go as far as like removing the comment. See, that's the issue for me. Because at some point, you needed that first subscriber. At some point, you needed that first 1,000. At some point, so for me, if it's not a sponsorship and somebody's paying you money, now if somebody's using your name and, you know, like really taking advantage of your platform, I get it. I understand that because now, you know, they're using you and your platform and your brand without your consent or even knowledge i completely understand that but when somebody is one watching your page number two is subscribed to your page and then they're supporting you by even because let's face it for those of you that have a page you know the comments count too let's let's put it out there and call it what it is because it shows interaction and engagement and youtube looks at all of that so with saying that it's like so now they they subscribe they've watched and they put a comment and usually in the midst of it they're talking about loving your channel and supporting your channel in the midst of just maybe dropping their channel what the hell is the problem you know like humble your own self you know because at the end of the day i don't care how many subscribers you have that's a portion a portion of your success on youtube your engagement and your watch time and all of that comes together to you know, make you a success or not on YouTube. So for me, it's like if somebody has said you have encouraged me and then they're just trying to say, hey, I'm trying to aspire to maybe accomplish the status you have. What is the problem? I, I don't know. That, that just rubbed me the wrong way. And when I have seen that, I have just stopped following that because somehow it comes across to me that when you reach a certain success level or a certain status on YouTube, you kind of forget you needed that support. It, it helped you if somebody who was a more established YouTuber or influencer shouted your page out. You know, it's, you, you appreciated it at that time when you were up and coming, did you not? Did you not? So, then, I mean, that person that put the comment wasn't necessarily asking you to shout them out or do whatever they were just saying hey you know if you guys don't mind you know i know you support this channel i started a little something something if you guys want to see i don't know let, let let me just stop on my tangent it just rubs me the wrong way it, it just makes me just kind of feel like they're not calling your name they're not calling they just saying you inspired them and they dropped a comment and whatever and for you to go as far as saying don't be coming and you know using your page as a, I don't know maybe I'm reading too much into that y'all y'all let me know I know everybody has their different opinion but let me say this I have no issues okay now if you're trying to use my name and all of that that's something else but as a community that I hope to build on this page again I just want it to be where this is a safe haven. People could come, hopefully get some inspiration, hopefully get some entertainment. And in the midst of it all, you know, be able to network and, and get some support for whatever your endeavors are. And I have no issues if you just want to drop your website, drop your whatever down there. I don't care. Again, motivation, inspiration, elevation. As long as it is respectfully done, have at it. 
and again everybody has the right to say what they want their page to be and for me black white purple polka dot or striped i just want to see us all win in our own way and reach our successes whatever we have to find that to be for ourselves and that's just where i'm at with it so again that's it now y'all know i go on a tangent that, that shit sometimes people get and this is across the board from athletes to musicians to influencers to whoever sometimes people just they they get up to a certain tax bracket and i think they forget the zip code they used to be in i said it i said it which is why i love those who remain humble through it all you can afford some finer things. You can travel to some nice places. You may have been able to move to a different zip code and afford your loved ones and things and think, awesome. I think that's what we all want to do. We all want to achieve, right? So no no, no judgment here. But when those who, who are, have attained it and have reached successes or, you know, celebrity status or whatever it may be, and you remain humble, and you remember where you come from and you try and bless those where you can, how you can, man, look, nothing but love for you. And I hope you rock this shit till the wheels fall off. But y'all that get nasty with the shit, no judgment. I would never take away from your creative talents or whatever it may be. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. We have all witnessed those that reach the clouds fell they ass back to earth. Humble yourself.
It's like something out of a movie You see right through me It's like you already do me We can go, we can go up Oh, we can go Good morning, tribe. Good morning. How are you? Your girl is tired. I look tired. It was a horrible, horrible night for me As far as my insomnia I went to, I got in the bed We had a very productive day As far as like you know, doing stuff with the kids and playing a lot with the baby. I played for hours with the baby. And when my husband was working or whatever, then I did some work late last night. And <clears throat> I don't know, so I got in bed kind of early. I got in bed about 10 something, got sleepy within 30 minutes and, you know, went to sleep. But my insomnia is kicking my royal behind. I think I slept for like an hour, 40, 45 minutes. And then I was just up after that. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, it is 7.33 in the morning. I left home about five minutes ago. I have an eight o'clock facial and massage. So that's why your girl out here looking like a bald hair muskrat, but I'm still cute. And don't let nobody tell you no lie. Get the side profile. You could bring me out in the daylight. <laughs> I'm just joking. <clears throat> but anyway, these bags under my eyes are just indicative of the night I have. And so, but my insomnia is just getting worse. Um, I've been struggling for months now and I can't seem to get it together. I I know some things are on my subconscious. Um, there's some, you know, things I'm thinking about doing, some endeavors, trying to keep up with everything and just, you know, some other stuff. So I, yeah, I just, I think that's a, the bulk of what it is. Um, why I'm, I've been going through this stint for so long. But anyway, I will be ending the vlog today. I will be um, making my announcement by the end of today. I will, uh, with the help of my husband and the encouragement from others, I will be completely finished with what I'm trying to do so I could go ahead and make the announcement. I didn't want to put the course before the cart, so to speak. <sighs> so anyway, um, I will be ending this vlog today. So. Um, if you haven't, please consider liking and subscribing and supporting the page. We completely um, appreciate that. And, and if you're new to the family, if you have subscribed, drop it down so we can welcome you. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. Nice to see you. Pull up a chair. We got you, and I hope you got us. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead, um, finish, put on some music, uh, and kind of rock out and kind of zone out um, so I can kind of get mentally prepared for my relaxation i know some people could go to sleep in there i could relax but i can't go to sleep mm -mm. just like i can't go to sleep on planes public transportation trains i i can't i got to keep one eye open make sure what's going on around me and and the situation at hand i can't go to sleep outside of my home how some people could be knocked out at the club and the, mm, i got one eye open i'm taking in the whole situation i can't do it but anyway, let me go because I have about a 20, 22 minute ride by the time I get there. And I already told y'all in previous vlogs, I'm the first appointment. I don't care if it's my nails, hair, massages, facials. I like to be number one because by the time y'all get to that third, fourth person, y'all already behind schedule. Y'all y'all already off track. So yeah, I, I, number one, number one. So anyway, I see you guys when I get there. did with the audio for this portion but I was just letting you all know how excellent my body felt how limber and relaxed I felt 
and suggesting that if you have never tried a massage before, please do. And once you find the right masseuse, you will be addicted and your body will thank you. You know, um, quick question. Is she here the next Saturday the 28th? Hey. Yeah, she has a 6 p.m. That's okay. I could do the 6 p.m. on the 28th. And also, my daughter has a facial scheduled that day. Okay, so then I got you scheduled the 28th of January. Okay. Uh, with Carla at 6 p.m. for your half stone in the minute. Got it. Got and it. what is your daughter's name? Uh, Jordan. She's scheduled for three. Got it. Okay, Trump. I'm back in the car. You know your massage is good when you have all these lines on your face. <laughs> Baby, my face was in that pillow. I tried, um, that's why they say never judge a book by its cover. As I tried this young lady for the first time today, um, cause the other two people I use, I, I usually come, okay. I usually come on Saturdays and um, would it be in a holiday? I came on a Monday. <clears throat> so my people that I'm, I'm used to going to weren't available. So I ended up trying this other young lady. And so when I first saw her, she looked really young, petite from height and weight. I said, no, nah, no, nah, she ain't gonna be able to get all up in me, right? Shit. Look, I rescheduled with her. So now when I come on Saturday, I hope I don't run into my other two people. They gonna be like, uh, I didn't know you had an appointment today. <laughs> um, but yeah, she she did her thing, baby. Like I said, you know your masseuse gun, you got lines all over your face. And I'm gonna have to start carrying a brush because every time I come up out these massage, my massages, baby, I look like I done been through some shit. But I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Oh, I did not know it was supposed to rain. So I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this. I want to run to the grocery store. I didn't take anything out for dinner. But while I was laying there relaxing and allowed my mind to wander, I think I'm going to make some baked ziti today. And um, also maybe some smothered, no, and some pepper steak and rice. It's been a minute since I made pepper steak. So um, for those of you that's been rocking and rolling with me for a minute, you all know. Well, I'm going to stop and get gas here. I ain't seen it this cheap. Um... And it ain't cheap, but whatever. Um, you all know I make like two, three meals uh, on a Sunday, so I don't have to really cook when I come home. Like I said, I'm still a working woman, so I like to warm. I like to warm up during the week as opposed to cooking. I don't have that type of time. Um, no, do I get home early enough to do anything? And if I do cook during the week, it is something extremely quick, like tacos or we're like, I don't know, warming up a pizza and I'm making salad on the side or something. So anyway, my massage was awesome. Again, if you have never treated yourself to one, it is truly um, a mind relaxation. It relaxes your body. It allows your body to just let go of some things and relax and I I tend to carry tension in my neck so I don't necessarily feel the knots when they're forming but I could just feel when my neck gets tight I'm sorry you all my eyes are just I don't know why they're feeling dry and itchy I don't know. um yes yeah, so anyway um so yeah so I absolutely if you have never treat yourself treat yourself you won't regret it what I do with it? Damn it, did I leave it at home? See, that's what I got. Oh no, I remembered it. So I got a Starbucks gift card uh, that has $50 on it. So I need to download that on my app. So, cause y'all already know we want a Starbucks show. So it is 940. So in case you all care, I'm sorry, my eyes are just really itching me. Um, I get the 
the standard massage is usually 60 minutes, really 55, really 50, because they give you five minutes to change your clothes and set up, and then they give you five minutes to get dressed. So you're really only getting 50 minutes, although they advertise 60. So I always upgrade mine to 90 minutes, so technically 80, because five to get undressed, five to get, you know, dressed again. Um, and I love, which I've said before, I absolutely love the hot stone, the hot stones. So I always have those two additions added to my packages. And, um, and here and there, probably like every other time I do like the CBD oil added. Um, I like the smell of it. I'm a lemongrass, vanilla type of scent that relaxes me. I'm not into lavenders and all of that, but I like the lemongrass. The, I don't like fruity outside of the lemongrass. I don't I don't like like the the berries and strawberries and apples. I don't tend to like those scents even in candles. So yeah, so I kind of like those. And then um it just adds an extra element of relaxation for me. So. venti caramel macchiato with five pumps of caramel added and sweet cream foam on top you don't have to be hot or ice uh hot, be hot and then you said you want the sweet cream foam on top yes and five pumps of caramel added okay just let you know that the, the cold foam is probably going to sink down since I, it is a hot drink i know i got it thank you though okay i got you all right so it's going to be 757 thank you no problem told y'all every time I say hot and then I come with that sweet cream foam it fucks them up every time every time but I hope they make it right Jesus I ain't in the mood to be you know you just be having your mouth ready for something and you like oh and then you get it and you be like damn damn fucked it all up especially when that should be expensive you really be have to but I'll be drinking it though cause I told y'all Starbucks a car note Y'all heard that seven fifty eight, eight dollars for some coffee. I'm gonna do it again. Though. I'm gonna do it again though. Let's see. I hope they made it right. Okay, it's decent. It's decent. I've had worse. I've had better, but this ain't enough for me to complain. What I am about to complain is why one thing I'm gonna get myself when my bank account catch up to my manifestation. No, nah, but for real though. One thing I am gonna get myself, I'm gonna get myself a chauffeur. I mean, I look right, look at my hair. Then I look like a bald hair muskrat. <laughs> That's okay, I'm so cute though baby but them massages don't play i'm telling you i had to start carrying me a brush and shit because i'd I be coming out there just looking like life and rough but anyway one thing i am going to get myself <clears throat> is a chauffeur i need a personal driver now when i'm doing road trips like long trips i'm cool with that because you just really on the highway it's not that stop and go i could throw on my music zone out have my coffee or whatever and zone out city driving just regular residential driving they don't know what they're doing and uh yeah like early in this vlog the woman damn near hit me i'm just sitting trying to have a conversation with y'all and she tried to take my damn bump off in the back door but then want to have attitude with me we gonna talk about it <laughs> let me put this car in front let's talk about it but like I said, people, you, you can't even honk your horn now. People want to jump out and, and take your life and shit and whatever. And people just drive however the hell they want to drive. Now, if you're a young driver and you, um, I'm going to have, okay. And I have a tangent about that when I'm done too. But first things first. Um, 
See, that damn call made me forget my train of thought. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just, I, I need me a driver because, now if you're a young, that's what I said, if you're a young driver and you're learning, put your little stick up there. And I know you probably don't want to, but people, for the most part, are more patient and, um, you know, a little bit more forgivable when they like, okay, they learning. But other than that, now that phone call I just sent to voicemail. For those of you that don't know, I own several businesses. I have Love More Enterprises. I do real estate. I buy, flip, I find investors, sell properties, whatever. I have one queen to another, <clears throat> which is really the one I put in all my description boxes. Um, for my queens, starting, and my princesses, starting from the age of 13 on up, different packages. I'm not your coach. I'm not any of that. I am really just a mentor. Specifically, I call myself a, confi a confident engineer. I'm sorry, I'm looking at traffic while I'm talking. Because what I'm finding is so many women do not find themselves worthy. Whether they have low self-esteem because of their, physical their physicality, they've been broken and have not healed themselves from the trauma of relationships. Maybe it's some trauma from just uh, family relationships, whatever the case may be. And they don't know how to heal, they wanna heal, they're struggling to heal, all of that. And because of that, they don't know how to pour into themselves or they don't believe that they're worthy. They, they see no self value. They'll go to the ends of the earth for children, relationships and whoever, whatever else. But when it comes to themselves, they're not worthy and they'll come up with a million and one excuses as to why the answer is no to themselves, but they'll break their back to say yes for someone else. So I, I just wanted to do my part to hopefully just, just, just get women to a place of saying you are worthy of every desire, every one of your, your, your heart's desires, whether that's love, finances, you want to lose weight, you want to be, whatever it is, you are worthy. So that's what that is. <clears throat> so anyway, um, and I do own um, one more business that I started, but because of the depth of that business, um, it's a lot of ropes I have to jump and still working on that. But anyway, that will come out when the time is right too. This young lady paid her deposit. <clears throat> she has rescheduled three or four times. I don't chase nobody because you got to be ready. I can't make you ready. You just have to say enough is enough. You have to be tired of being tired. So I've rescheduled and rescheduled and rescheduled with her. We were supposed to finally, because now mind you, she signed up right before Thanksgiving, right after Thanksgiving. We in January. She has yet. And it's a five-week program with me, right? So she has yet to do it. And... um she did one of my top tier programs so she paid the deposit nothing more at this point it really just locked her in for us to get started in me you heard me say thanksgiving right we have had three dates she was a no call no show yesterday so here she is calling me now we didn't schedule today ma'am and your my time is just as valuable as yours so you just can't call me because no you got to go back through the, the app send me a message and my people get back with, you, with your people my point in saying all of that is respect people's time if you're not ready for something just say you're not ready and i'll come back when the time dude i'm not talking to myself i promise you i'm not he been sitting in this car across from me I'm trying to figure out if somebody in the back seat. Because he's been staring me in my face like I can't see him. And I tell y'all, my eyes are really bothering me. And I don't know if it's the face mask I used this morning. I know it's not the facial because my eyes are itching before I went in there. But anyway, but just respect people's time. If you're not ready, don't 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 take up their time. Don't don't waste their time. And if you're on the fence, say you're on the fence. Be honest so people can have their appropriate expectations of you. That's all I'm saying. Be honest so people can have the appropriate. Because if you told me 
I want to, but I'm not sure, and you were hemming and hawing, then I would adjust my expectations and okay, it might be a little bit of back and forth, there might be some hesitancy, whatever. When you, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm in the ring, I'm this and then my expectations are going to reflect your tenacity. Am I the only one when you're about to get out the car and you see a closer spot you're pulling in? I usually don't, but the fact that it's raining, watch me. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't get two shits about my hair getting wet. That's one of the perks of being natural. I just don't like the fucking rain. Tribe, I am so sorry. I know I told you I was going to make my big announcement in this week's vlog. But as I was doing my editing and kind of noticing the length of the vlog, I am going to end it here. I absolutely promise it will be in the next vlog that will drop in the next five days. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. And you rock this out until we meet again. Got nothing but love for you.